hello friends welcome back so in this video i will be discussing about what is all about test data in software testing so i will be discussing in this video about what is all about test data what are the various types of test data we have and what are the challenges which we may face while creating or managing the test data and what are the various uh, test data management techniques or best practices available in order to manage test data in software testing these are all the things i am going to discuss in this video so first we will try to understand what is test data why do we really require a test data test data is a very crucial aspects in software testing which is very much needed in order to test a particular application whatever the application you may be talking about it could be web application it could be mobile application or whatever kind of application which you are going to test the test data is a very crucial element as part of your testing during the testing normally you would be required a huge set of test data because we may be having uh, thousands of test cases test scenarios where we will be running with uh, different combinations of test data in order to test the application whether the application is behaving rightly or not so in order to check that so we will have to put various types of test data to test the application so now we will try to understand so what are the various types of test data we normally use to test your application the first thing is no data at all so whatever the fields we have in your web application or mobile application or any page any screen where you don't enter any data so you will be leaving empty space there no value there without entering any value and you are trying to operate that application then we will be checking how the system will be behaving how the system will be behaving that is the first one is no data the the, the second one is default data so when i'm when i'm trying to operate that application using that default data and we will be validating whether the system behaves appropriately or not then the third one is valid or positive data here we are trying to enter the positive aspects positive data in order to test the application this is more of a a positive testing which is positive flow which is a positive scenario where we will be providing a positive data and we will be checking the application fourth type is we will be also providing to the application to test against invalid test data or a negative test data put into the application to see how the system will be responding and especially how the error message will be handled when i am providing a invalid data or a negative test data the next type of test data is boundary test data that time we will be testing for boundary conditions the boundary conditions for example a particular uh, field can only take 1 to 10 digit 1 to 10 number if a particular field can take only 1 to 10 then we will be testing it for minus 1 0 and 11 these are boundary we will be testing all combination to see whether that field can take all the boundary conditions and gives up the right error messages then we will also have a equivalence partitioning test data here we will be testing the application with the test data qualifying the equivalence partitions this is also another techniques we normally use to derive the test data where we will be putting the test data in a different partitions or different buckets for example in the same case as above 1 to 10 is in valid cases then we will be putting certain values under 0 which is invalid 1 to 10 all the numbers from 1 to 10 which are valid numbers and all the numbers from 11 to 99 which is invalid number and 
100 is also an invalid number which is three digit number so this is also be validated and tested using this equivalence partitioning uh, test data set then we have one more uh, kind of test data we derive is using decision table so these are the some of the different types of test data which we normally use while testing any software application then we will try to understand so what are the challenges normally we face when we are using test data first thing we face challenge is test coverage if you use test data creation manually normally if it is a small application or a small number of test cases then we can just create test data manually that should be fine but in case uh, if your application is very big enough and you have huge number of test cases then creating a test data in a manual way which is not very efficient and that consumes a lot of energy of the tester that is the second one is data versioning especially as uh, application grows and we are going to release the product from one version to another as the version increases number of test cases also increases and test data also be required to be taken care for every versions of the application or a product now when we are trying to manage different version then there will be a lot of inconsistent in test data as well because as the number of test cases increases your test data also increases and we will have to be required to manage this test data also appropriately then the third aspect or third challenge is regulatory compliances especially if you are working certain domains like banking domains insurance domains life sciences these are all heavy regulated uh, domains normally it will be regulated by various government policies federal government state laws and there is lot of legal compliances also required to be tested then the fourth is complex workflows especially if your application or a product which is very complex in nature and uh, that requires to be executed very complex scenarios then you will be required to create a complex test data to test the application appropriately this is all. then the fifth challenge would be the lack of automation especially if we do not manage test data in a more automated way it would be a very difficult process in employing data identification overall process of setting the test data either by creating the test data masking the test data if you are not doing all these things it would be a very great challenge and also sixth is lack of domain knowledge so in order to identify or prepare a test data for a given application or a given test cases we would require a good understanding of domain knowledge if you do not have a right domain knowledge with the tester then it would be very difficult to create test data and we may not be able to create the right set of test data if we lack the domain knowledge then the seventh challenge is because these days we are working across all the projects most probably using agile methodologies because of agile methodologies we will have a lesser time to test or to deliver to the market because of this this gives lot of pressure to the developer and tester on release on release because they have a lesser time because they have to get the things done in a quicker manner it may happen that tester may not get enough time to test data identification test environment preparation setting up the test data this will also creates lot of challenges because if you do not give a right time right efforts for man managing this test data then our testing cannot be a full fledged one these are the some of the test data challenges which we face day in day out 
then we will try to see how we can uh, mitigate or what are the best practices we can follow to mitigate these test data challenges. So in order to manage that, so we will have to go with test data management concept. So if, if you wanted to get rid of all those challenges, we should follow the test data management. The test data management is a, a process. We will be creating the test data by mimicking the production data to perform any system testing. Sometimes what happens, we cannot just use the production data in our testing because a lot of uh, security or regulatory compliance. So what we should do is, you should be able to mask the test data which we pull from the production environment that would uh, help us to use this uh, production like data in our testing. There are four different techniques which we normally adopt in uh, test data management. So which are those test which are those four different techniques? The first technique which we use is exploring the test data. This is the first best practice or techniques which we use while we are doing test data management. Test can be in a different form or a different format. This is the first thing uh, we should understand because the test data can come from the different set of systems. It could be third party systems or it could be different uh, applications altogether. We should be able to explore all the data which is required to test that application. And these data, whatever we are trying to explore the data which can spread across various multiple systems. And also you should be able to find the right set of test data is very crucial as part of this exploring the test data. Then the second aspect is once we identify the test data, once we explore the test data, we also require to be validating this test data for compliance perspective and legal perspective because the data might have sensitive information or personal data information which we need to add as per the compliances or, secret or legal compliances. Then the third is we should also look in to the perspective of we should not just create the test data, we should also put an reusability in your mindset when you are creating a test data. So test data, whatever we create or generate, we should be able to reuse across your application and that test data also be required to be optimized. Then the fourth one is once we are able to do all these things, then we should be able to make an automation on all these processes of test data management. Test data management involves the scripting to explore the data. Once we are able to explore the data, we should be able to mask it and followed by you will be able to generate it. Sometime we should be able to clone completely. After that, we should be able to provision that data into your application or your test environment. So all these, the overall tasks require to be automated in a just a click of button. If you're able to automate this way, then that would be a more efficient and that would reduce the overall effort for your testing. The some of the aspects which you are required to learn what is all about test data, what are the various types of test data we have, what are the challenges of test data we have, what is all about test data management and its techniques or best practices. I am hoping uh, you guys got a clear idea on all these aspects. If you guys really like this video, then please give a thumbs up to this video. If you guys are not subscribed to Testing Shala, then do click on subscribe and bell icon so that all our future videos will be in your inbox. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.